I'm Peter Apel. I'm here with my co-authors, Linson Samuel and John Tuttle, and we're here to give you author insights on our JBJS article entitled, Patients Can Return to Driving at Two Weeks Postoperatively Following Rotator Cuff Repair. One of the most consistent questions I get from patients regarding surgery after rotator cuff repair is, when can I go back to driving? And that's where Dr. Apel and Dr. Samuel uh, stepped in to help design this study to answer that question. As part of the methodology for our study, we prospectively enrolled 27 patients who were scheduled to undergo rotator cuff repair. Uh, what we did was they uh, were instructed to undergo a baseline drive utilizing an instrumented vehicle on a predetermined route, and we compared that baseline route with, a, with four uh, post-operative uh, drives utilizing the same route, and we compared their ability to drive with certain predetermined kinematic metrics in addition to a patient-reported outcome metric in the form of a, a PROMISE 10 score. Our results were quite surprising. We found that patients were remarkably adaptable, using their opposite hand to uh, take over some of the tasks of driving, as well as being more conservative, braking softer and accelerating softer. And we found that these adaptations made them safe to drive as soon as two weeks postoperatively. The clinical impact of this can't be understated. It used to be that I would tell patients who would ask, go back at six weeks if you feel safe and when you start to initiate active elevation with physical therapy. But now I can tell them with confidence that they can go back with reasonable safety to driving as soon as two weeks postoperatively in their sling. And this has changed my practice. Thank you for watching our Author Insights video. We hope you enjoy the article.